Hey guys, Allie here. Welcome to episode 31 of Controller Nation Weekly for the week of February 26th. Is the next Xbox right around the corner and is Doom 4 dead? We'll go over that and more. Last week, we reported that Sony had surpassed their sales goal for the Vita launch. Worldwide sales have now reached 1.2 million units sold, with software selling 2 million units. If the launch is to say anything about the life of the Vita, it would appear, for now at least, that the Vita's future looks very bright. If you are the kind of person that held out for a white iPhone, then you will be happy to know that Microsoft has a new Kinect family bundle that comes with a 4 gig white 360S, as well as a white Kinect, and you guessed it, white controller as well, as two games in three months of Xbox Live, all for $300. And if that wasn't enough, you will be able to watch HBO Go on your new or old Xbox 360 on April 1st. Game of Thrones starts that day. Just saying it does. Since we are on the topic of Xbox, Crytek's Sean Tracy had an interesting tweet this week stating, Enjoying the Durango Developer Summit in London. So far, great swag and interesting talks. This is notable because from what we have heard about the next Xbox is its codename is Durango. It looks as though we're getting closer to an announcement. Perhaps the reports of an E3 debut weren't that far off. Bethesda Softworks decided to clear the air this week regarding a rumor that was going around about the cancellation of DOOM 4. According to Bethesda, the title is still in development and will be shown off when it's ready. So, there you have it. Quantum Conundrum is slated for release on PC, XBLA, and PSN this summer. This is the next title from Kim Swift. You might remember her work on a little title called Portal. Yeah, that Portal. There's currently a Boondock Saints game in the work by developer Critical Mass Interactive. The title has yet to be officially announced, but will be shown behind closed doors at PAX East with a larger release at E3. Bioshock Infinite has finally gotten a release date. It will be arriving here in North America on October 16th and internationally on the 19th. That's it for this week. Be sure to get social with our Facebook and Twitter. And we'll see you here again next week. Yeah, that portal.